We have an early move day tomorrow, so we're packing up tonight. We just filled the water tanks and I checked the pump and it's not working. So it looks like Josh is gonna have to check that out before we take off tomorrow. came outside to let Josh know that the pump's not working, so he's in there now taking a look at it. What do you think it is, babe? Well, it's working electronically, it's just not pumping out the water. So we're gonna have to disassemble it, find out why. Since we're gonna be working on the water pump and opening up the lines that are in the system, we're gonna turn off the water at the connection here, and then we'll relieve the pressure inside. We have a pressure relief outside that'll just go to drain outside. I'm just gonna open this up to relieve the pressure. And that way I can open up the lines here and not have a ton of water come out. Now these fittings on here aren't gonna be super tight. They shouldn't be. Uh, they're sealed with uh, an O-ring inside the fitting on this particular model. Like I said, this has happened to us before and I kept the old pump just in case I needed it to for parts or put it in here and we can still use the city water without the pump since we're going to be needing the pump in a couple of days I decided it was time to test it before we headed out this is our sure flow pump off of our rig and it stopped working so we're going to take it apart Side, we're gonna clean that all up and then we'll come back and put it all back together. Just wanted to see if these check valves in the pump were actually gonna be working or not. So they look like there was something on there that may have been preventing them from sealing. So I've washed them in hot water and Dawn soap. After I've cleaned all this up inside here, another thing I wanted to inspect was on the other side of the switch, pressure switch, the little plunger that's inside here. It'd be a little difficult to see because it's all black right there. There's a little plunger. And that's actually the outlet for the water pump. Well, look at that, it's stuck. So that's right below the switch. If you can see right here, that little plunger is stuck inside there. Right where I'm pointing, right there. So I'm gonna try to push this down. Oh, got it to release. So it was stuck inside there. I'm gonna clean the seat up a little bit inside here. And then that'll allow the water to flow inside here and out on the outlet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and 
start these after we got this all nice and clean. Start them a little bit with a screwdriver so I don't want to strip anything out. Just save a little bit of time, tighten these up in crisscross pattern. That way the pump goes down on top of the motor evenly. Now on the inlet of mine, I have a screen filter just to keep heavy debris out. And that was clear. I didn't, there's nothing, no debris that's in there that's caught anything. So I'll put this back on. The pump we just cleaned. And you can use some Teflon tape on there, but it's not, it, it will seal itself inside there. You don't really need to crank on it. Just that tight has been sufficient for for us. Now, someone had put Teflon tape on the inlet of this before, but this isn't where the, it is sealing. The seal is actually an O-ring that fits around this side of that fitting. So it doesn't even really need to be on there. Just carefully spin this on. And again, it's just gonna be hand tight. To kind of help myself out, I'll put the screw through here, get it close to the hole, line it up, help with my drill. Temporarily tighten that up and I'll line up this side. Spin it in by hand. And the old pump here, I'd cut the lines and I'd put connectors in so that I can swap over the factory connector. I know that. Some people may have just cut this off and put these on here, but there's something to say about being able to disconnect this uh, readily as well. Um, I made these opposite each other. So the power coming in has got a male spade fitting and the ground has got a female spade fitting on the factory plug side. And then so they meet up with this on the pump side and I can connect them without really sitting here and trying to figure out which one needed to go where. And then that way I'll be able to connect these back up and we can test out the pump. So I will go over and check our filter and see if it's gummed up our whole um, house filter. We already have the water off still at the city water connection and the pressure has been relieved from the system. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water out of here but I'm going to take this off and inspect it. filter doesn't look too bad. It's not got a lot of algae growth or anything on there. Um, I see some spots where it's been collecting some of the stuff coming in, but it's still not as bad as some of the folks had at the lot that sent me pictures from the last campsite that they were at. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Line this up. 
this. I already got a little bit of that silicone grease on this edge to make it seal up real nice on the o-ring that's right here. So I'll line this back up. And we'll tighten it back up. And again, this isn't something that needs to be super tight. You can snug it a little bit with a wrench. Just make sure that you hold on to the top portion of the filter housing so that you don't crack it or break any of the lines. But you don't want to really give it too much more than that. And then after you've been running, after you've removed this and you've run the water for a little bit, uh, you can come back out and double check for any leaks that might be present. And I'll get a rag and wipe this off so I know if there's going to be any leaks. It looks like you've got the pump up and running again. Yep, it's installed. We have flow, we have good pressure. So that'll do it for this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.